二零一九年第二条题目咧就系有关于煤嘅，今次呢幅图咧就系想讲翻某款煤所催化嘅合成代谢反应嘅混合物，咁啊分别有 P、Q、R、S、T 呢五款嘅分子啦。咁而家 Part A 咧就问翻啦，咁究竟啦 P、Q、R、S、T 边一个系代表住呢个合成代谢反应嘅受质咧？同埋解释你嘅答案啦。咁呢条题目咧就系考翻我哋啦，作为一个合成代谢，即系砌嘢啦。而當中啦，要砌嘢嘅時候，個煤啦，同埋個受質啦，兩者有咩嘅分別呢？咁所以啦，我哋要去睇翻嘅咧，就係合成代謝嘅圖畫啦。有個煤啦，有兩個受質就冚埋咗落個煤，黐埋咗一齊，形成咗一個 m s i z e substrate compress。然後啦，再透過煤咧去催化呢個合成嘅反應，就變成咗一個產物啦。所以我哋睇翻啦 ，PQRST。边一啲嘢系可以砌到出嚟嘅呢？咁所以我哋睇翻幅图呢，就系、是、由两个 P 去砌成一个 Q 啦。个受质呢，就系、是、P 啦。原因就系因为呢个反应嘅混合物当中，我哋会发现就由两个 P 去砌成一个 Q 嘅。咁当然啦，今次就问你受质啫，下次问你个产物个 products 得唔得啊？当然可以啦。个解释其实都一样嘅啫，就系、是、咧呢一个嘅 Q 嘅分子呢。就係、是、由兩個 P 嘅分子咧所組合而成嘅，其實都係一體兩面嚟嘅啫。跟住啦，去到 Part B 咯，佢就問翻啦，咁 P、Q、R、S 邊一個係代表住個煤啊？跟住啦，又解釋你嘅答案啦。今次咧就考埋我哋啦，煤嘅特性啦。嗱，煤咧就有好多特性嘅。生物催化剂啊，佢嘅反应咧系好专一、好特殊啊，佢由蛋白质所整成啊，而煤嘅结构同埋佢嘅活性咧系好容易受到温度同埋酸碱值所影响啊，煤咧系可以重用啊，所以煤咧就用少少嘅份量咧都已经好足够啊，好多特性、啊。咁究竟喺呢幅图入面系表现咗煤嘅边一个特性呢？咁要教返大家㗎啦，又係直線抽擊答提法啦，用返幅圖去答嘅啫，因為一諗你就輸㗎啦。我哋要明白啦，我哋係睇返幅圖嘅話呢，我哋淨係知道啦，兩個 P 合埋就可以同個酶呢去做個組合嘅答案呢，就只係知得到酶係好專一、好特殊。但你话唔系煤呢？嗱，两个 P 黐埋咗一齐啦，然后咧放翻个 Q 出嚟，个 R 系冇变噶，个煤系冇变，咁所以可唔可以话煤系可以重用啊？其实就唔可以，因为煤之所以重用系你谂出嚟嘅啫。喺呢幅图，佢只系显示咗反应嘅混合物，佢系唔系表现咗呢一个方程式俾你睇啊？佢唔係啊嘛，只係知道兩個 P 可以黐埋一齊，然後啦就將佢砌埋，就放返個 Q 出嚟。究竟 R 呢個分子佢會仍然存在啊，定係唔見咗呢？係你自己喺個腦度腦補出嚟㗎嘛？係你書本學過啫嘛？喺呢幅圖可能你見到啦，啊有一個啦，兩個啦，呢、这個 R 樣嘅結構。咁但係啦，代唔代表住佢做完個反應係不變啊 ？You don't know。咁所以啦，答案呢就只係講緊呢。阿卢呢一嚿嘢就系代表住个煤，点解啊？因为啦，佢有一个特殊嘅位置，专一嘅位置，同两个 P 咧去黐埋一齐。好，又嚟到一点出发啦。今次呢条题目咧就考数据分析嘅，虽然今次讲嘅系图像啦。咁啊，考我哋两样嘢啦，合成代谢、分解代谢，主要咧就讲合成代谢有煤咧，有受质啦，有产物啦，系咪？咁煤啦有咩嘅功用咧？作为一个生物嘅催化剂啦。之所以能夠加速到催化到個過程，係因為將個活性能量下降啦。咁所以啦，佢作為一個生物催化劑嘅特性，點解會做得到呢？咁你就要睇翻之前活性能量反應速率嘅片咯。而合成代謝同埋分解代謝，我哋結合嚟睇咧，就係整個新陳代謝啦。咁啊，之前咧都拍過啲片咧，去幫大家温煤呢一課嘅，咁啊，大家又可以睇下咯。Two one nine question two is about m s i This diagram it shows the reaction mixture of an anabolic reaction catalyzed by an m s i You can see the PQRST these five molecules. And part A it asks that which drawing represent the substrate in this anabolic reaction and explain your answer. This part it tells us that the concept of anabolic reaction is the building up reactions, and then it needs us to distinguish m size from the substrate. So you can see that for the anabolic activity, 
two molecules substrate bind together with the enzyme molecules and form the enzyme substrate compress and then the enzyme can speed up the reaction and combine these two substrate together to form the products so you can see that for the PEQRST there should be two molecules P joined together with the enzyme to form the molecule of Q therefore P represents the substrate in this anabolic reaction because two molecules of P are joined together to form one molecule of Q. So you can imagine that the possible question variation it can ask you which joint represent the product. And for part B, which joint represent the enzyme? Explain your answer. So this part it checks us the concept about the enzyme's property. So you can see a lot of them. Enzyme are the biological catalyst to speed up the reaction. The actions of the enzyme are very specific. Enzyme are made up of protein and the structure and activity are easily affected by temperature and pH. Enzymes are reusable, therefore enzyme are needed in relatively small amount. So you can see a lot of properties of enzyme. After we can recognize which joint represent the enzyme, do we just randomly pick up a property of the enzyme as the reason? You cannot do it. Remember the examination skills straight to the point. You don't need to think. You just need to find out which joint represent the enzyme based on the diagram only. You don't need to recall this diagram. Well, for the two substrate bind together with the enzyme to form the enzyme substrate compress and finally the products it is produced and the enzyme they are remain unchanged you don't need to think about it you just need to determine the enzyme property based on the diagram instead of imagine the enzyme reaction so the property of being reusable or remain unchanged after the reaction are not accepted so the answer is molecule R, it represents the enzyme because it has a specific site or the active site for binding molecule P or Q. So let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question is talking about the data analysis, particularly we need to read the diagram. Whole question is about the enzyme to speed up the anabolism or the catabolism. And this question is about anabolism. We have the enzyme, substrate, and products. And then you need to recall the function of the enzyme and also the properties of the enzyme. Why the enzyme stay at the biological catalyst? Because they speed up the chemical reaction in organism by lowering the activation energy. So you can watch the video for the revision about the activation energy and the rate of reaction. And then we combine anabolism and catabolism. We have the idea of the metabolism. And you can also find a video about the anabolism and catabolism 